As we all know, TEA canceled the STAR test last spring due to the pandemic, like many states around the country. But they also offered um, an end of year exam and a beginning of year exam that's based on STAR to help educators understand really what kids were learning where they were given the disruptions from the pandemic. Yesterday, TEA released um, some results from that, some early results from that, um, those assessments. Again, they were optional, they weren't proctored, meaning like kids were taking them kind of on their own at home, but they give us some really important insight into learning loss. So we know that every summer, kids tend to learn, lose a little bit of their learning when school ends in the spring before it picks up again in the fall. These exams, the end of year and beginning of year tests show us that there was additional months of learning loss that likely happened for kids around the state. Um, that's important because we have this time from the pandemic that's like a stolen year from kids, right? It's not really lost. It was the pandemic has stolen some time from kids. And we think it's really important to use these high quality comparable state exams to help us understand really where kids are because it's gonna sharpen the focus for all the adults who are charged with intervening. So as the legislators coming together, as district and school leaders are planning their curriculum and instruction, this kind of data is critical so that we're sharply focusing our resources in the places that are gonna benefit kids the most. 